welcome back everybody all right so we're gonna jump straight into a mission today uh, we picked up some good things last episode nothing that we could use right away but that's fine um, but we're gonna go in and we're gonna continue where, with our uh, our um, streak of destroying stuff and take another destroy base mission today so we've got to do sending a message it's for clan Burak against Comstar in an urban environment one and a half skulls destroy base we're gonna get in there and blow, just blow shit up we're good at that so we're gonna max out our salvage on this one gonna accept going with the standard lance we're one skull now not half skull anymore because of our gear so let's deploy and get the sucker done All right, here we go. Uh, this is our support lance. Looks like I got a pair of adders, shadow, or griffin. A couple of vehicles, it looks like. And there's our base over there. If I remember correctly, we had trouble with the turrets there last time. Ha! <laughs> Labrador, huh? Zora-like tank, couple of Zoras, pair of Adder, an A and an A, and a Griffin, two in B. All right. Now, in the past, with the heavy max, we've gone and gone up this way and down, but we've got some jump-capable guys. I wonder if we hook up with our clanners and loop in this way. Where are the turrets here again? One right here, two. Is that one right there? Oh, they're here. Right here at the gates. So they've got some pretty good positions for the turrets against us. Let's maneuver this way and use the buildings as cover. Get our barrages in. So we're going to come around this side, I think. Waiting on you, Commander. Let's do this. Let our clan allies do what they want. That they what they think is best, and we're going to do what we know is best. We can get our barrages in, use them both on those low turrets. Hopefully, wiping them out in one turn, and then focus fire on the top two turrets. We can take them out now, not knowing what's in them. Obviously, we have to be very careful, but that's the goal anyway. All right, Talus is keeping up this turn. He'll be a turn behind, though, so we'll have to stop at this corner, I think. KGB, okay, just get up. Wait here. I'm going. Oh, we got a vehicle. Maxim Hubbard Transport. Let's drop some lerms. All right, one hit. In real world, I wouldn't do that because it would give away our position, but out. it's Battletech world, so. Hey, Commander, I got Ooh, Stinger. You know, we've got Stinger parts. Yep. I think we got like three or eight Stinger parts or something. I don't know. We got a bunch. Let's get into here. Switch over to standard LRMs, which we've got up. All right. Let's see what we got. 0.9. A little better. Let's fire on this guy. That's a lot of uh, missile launchers on that guy. we got to kill him. That was a lot of launchers on this guy. Well, pair of fives. SRM-10. I don't know what else he's got. I think our clan allies are just kind of sitting tight. Nope. Couple points. We'll take anything at this at this juncture. God, imagine living in a city this this cloudy and smoky and then just having a break like this of sunlight. It must like People must just stop on the street and stare.
like you'd think this far in the future they would have figured out a way to filter the pollution I used to play a tabletop role-playing game named Shadowrun and I had the London source book for it and one of the things that London had done was um, they used um, this kind of like bio biosynthetic organism or filter or whatever and they had put a dome over the whole city and it was the idea was it was supposed to absorb pollution and then of course when everything went to shit um, it just started falling apart and whatever but it was kind of it was the idea was kind of cool where they were trying to filter out all the pollution using some uh, biological you know filter system that they erected over the whole city it was kind of interesting but then I'm thinking like well how does sunlight get in how do you get air in like a, you know but whatever oh shit that turret's got to go that turret has got to go We're still two, at least two turns away from getting a uh, barrage on it. Or, we might not be. If we can jump arc light up here, we might be able to get a shot in here. We'll see. Oof, Calliope turret. What can I do for you? How did you fare? Pretty good, you only lost like what, 11 points of armor? On my way. Let's get on this Maxim. Damn. Oh, what do we got here? A chameleon. Yeah, I'm going to see if we can get uh, Arclight into position to tackle that tower, the Thunderbolt Tower. Really, though, as we move up into one and a half skulls, two skull, two and a half skulls, we're going to have to start getting that. We'll have to find a mech that we can use a uh, advanced AMS system in or AMS Mark II just to deal with the pesky thunderbolts we obviously can't do anything about arrows but thunderbolts we can alright our fire is on now um, Could just try for a quick kill with a barrage here. Engaging target. Okay, that's going to clear some of the vehicle or some of the buildings out of the way so that we can get Arclight a shot. The vehicle's gone. I want to know what that uh, few episodes back we had that st we were up up on top of the that desert hill and we took the strike from space it lo looked like I want to know what that was Onward. if it's some kind of like tag you know orbital bombardment thing or whatever it was it was pretty cool but I, I want to know what it was let's just heat this guy up All right, Arclight, can you get into position? That's the question. Oh, you can. Acknowledge. Light Goss emplacement, Thunderbolt emplacement, I think is probably the more dangerous of the two. 
I wonder. Shit. Um. All right, let's confirm the barrage. Didn't get the turrets, but we did a lot of damage. We killed two of their buildings, though. Oh, well, he's going after the Thunderbolt emplacement, eh? Well, there's a chance that they'll shoot after him. Oh, Yellow Jacket. Yeah, low jacket. Hopefully he doesn't have a barrage. Oh no, he's got a rack five. That's just, you know, even better. Heavy fire. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, thanks for showing up. Couldn't shoot the turrets, huh? Couldn't shoot the turrets. They got a very light garrison here. I mean, the turrets are good. Garrison's really light. Oof. Yeah. All right. Good thinking, turn your back to the enemy. Always works. A GB and Arc Light both on 18. This guy's going on 10. Hopefully we can kill him. Stinger is going on, I have no what. I don't know what. Um, not really too worried about a medium laser and a machine gun. Standing by. But we're gonna hit it with this guy. Wow, really? Let's get out of the way of that freaking rack. Can we get back around the corner here? Alright, let's hide from that rack. My mech's overheating. Yeah. Standing by. Comes the risk hydra, firing. There's enough for the turret. Beautiful. Done. Confirmed. Get out of the way of that Gauss rifle. I hear you. Got it. Damn. Well, it's okay. That side. Ooh. I may need some more time in the simulator. You might. Get away from that rack five. Gonna have to deal with that right now. Look at that shot. Screen grab. Ooh, nice shooting, man. Strip that armor away. There's good chances on that guy, really pretty good chances on this guy. Um, what kind of armor are we looking at? This rack is jammed. Like nothing really major. I want to keep the rockets. Probably. Let's just go after this guy. Engaging target. Damn it. Oh, he's gone. Never mind. I take it back. Let's push this uh, stinger, see what he does. I'm just saving the rocket packs in case I need to, to rip a turret apart fast. Goss rifle turret is going to be one of those ones we want to try and take down fast. Although I think it's a light goss if I'm not mistaken. 
light gauss emplacement. It might a mag shot cannon. Really? Okay. Cripple that stinger. They're clappy too. It's doing some good work. What's this guy here? Standard shredder turret. I would have to worry about oh EC twenty. Yeah, we can kill that from range. Yeah, we're in cleanup mode right now. Yeah, we could have done this one without our uh, allies, that's for sure. It's weird how sometimes you get like... What can I do for you? you know, total imbalance in the allies you get. Now, they may get reinforcements. Unlikely, but they might. Oof. There's more where that came from. Have a seat, buddy. God, the models are so beautiful. Even the vehicles are done nice, you know, they're kind of cartoony in a way, but that's fine. The whole look of the city has kind of got the same look and feel to it. I'm receiving you. It's just enough to make it feel like a game that I don't get in position where that Calliope turret can see you. Because you know damn well he's going to shoot at you. Um, yeah, let's just go this way. Something wrong with your guns, man. I'm here. Position confirmed. Ah, do I want to multi this? No, let's just shoot at this guy. Really low chance to hit, eh? Let's split fire it, see what we get out of this. Roger. Yeah, no Hydra hit. You gotta clean that turret up, buddy. Calliope's gonna see you there. There we go. There we go. Let's pull this Goss turret out of action. Uh, let's go this route. Wow, we missed with the... Uh, really? Missed with the X-Pulse. kind of got mixed feelings about that X-Pulse. It's really, really nice when it hits. But if it misses, I just feel like we've got ripped off, you know, points damage. At least when we had the two mediums and the large, you know, at least one of them would always hit. You always feel like you're delivering damage every turn. But it's nice having that 80 pinpoint. I don't know, I'm still up in the air. And I'm feeling like that we're just, we got... I don't know, this, the, the lower number of weapon systems in the Talos, it's just, it's got, you've got less of an opportunity for multi-target. I mean, I suppose we could go with two ER large lasers. But then, once again, it's just a matter of heat sinking, right? Got to find a way to heat sink it all. We need, we need, we really need exchangers. Like, really badly. Oh, he's got three medium lasers, eh? It's a pretty good loadout. Come on, shoot the damn turrets. Oh, maybe you can't see them. Oh, now you can see the turret. Come on, shoot the turret, man. Shoot the turret! Shoot the turret! Waiting on you, Commander. Let's try for a sweep in the leg. Time to die. Ah, we tried it. Stand still while I'm attacking you. Ooh, this is water. Let's go stand in the water. Uh-huh. Let's go through that chemical tower and stand in the water over here. Beautiful. 
It's going to help out. Didn't realize that was water, but I guess it. I guess it's not. I guess it's sewage. <laughs> it's a chemical spill uh, runoff, or whatever you want to call it. Who the hell knows what's in there? Um, no. Let's, uh, get into the battle here. Confirm. Let's get on this guy. Uh, let's switch this around to do some damage here. And we're going to fire the side of this chameleon. Well, at least we opened the way to see him. Where are you going? I'm trying to close the range on a stinger that's almost destroyed. That is destroyed. Alright, GV. I'm ready. Let's do the same thing. Let's just drop some missiles on this guy. Nothing. No joy. And then let's back up into the water here. Where is it? Here it is. Got it, Commander. You guys are too hot. There you go. That'll cool you off. Now I don't know if we've got our barrage back this turn, but if we do, we're gonna try and take the buildings and uh stuffs. No, we don't. Not this turn. I want to get that Calliope turret. Let's see if we can do that. Full Buildings are up. This turret's up. That's the AC-20 turret. Oh shit, we got to kill that one. Yeah, I forgot that was there. Alright. Oh, not quite enough. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Do we knock out the gun though? Long range missiles depleted. Probably not. Don't know. Guess we'll find out soon enough. Guess we'll find out soon enough. Our barrage is up next turn. We'll clear the two buildings. We should be able to sweep this uh, mech down here, the chameleon. As far as components here, I have no idea what to take. We're getting three. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Ooh, hit the building. We're in range, so... Had, probably had around a 14% chance to hit, at least. Yep. Well. Damage minimal. We're hot loading now. What can I do for you? Got it. We can't target this this thing with the X pulse. He can't target us. <laughs> that's all I got. That's all I need to know. Oh man, you're missing a lot now. What's going on? I'd like to see this thing with two X pulses in it, just and and uh, having enough heat sinks to heat sink it. With a double heat sink kit and and four double heat sinks, I think we need four. Is it, I, think, I think we need four. We could do that. Okay, finally, finally. Now, did, no, Arclight didn't use her barrage first, did she? She used it second. Alright, GB, get over here. Let's burn this guy. He's nice and toasty. Let's make him super toasty. 
Enjoy that, buddy. All right. Can we? Oh, we got our barrage back. Let's get into here. Roger. Let's get this targeting up. Uh, we're going to turn off those guys and turn this guy on. See if we can spill over and get this other turret as well. I come in right into here. This might get the buildings and hopefully kill both turrets. Well, one turret. Other turret took a lot of damage. Okay, nicely done. Now all we gotta do is kill this chameleon, that Calliope. Where's the LZ? Right beside the base, because of course it is. Where else would it be? Let's get into here. Now, this guy is super heated. We got our barrage back. Let's do a multi-target. Shoot on you. And you. B will take the barrage, and A will take everything else. There goes the leg, and the mech, and the turret. Nope, turret's still there. Ooh, I thought we got it there for a second. Almost, though. Hanging on by a thread. Come on, Zora, finish it up. Really? You couldn't push the turret at all? Looks like we got all of the buildings. Allied turn, allied turn. Couple of points, still going. course. Really? I hear you. What do you think, buddy? Push that turret, finish it up. Let's go home. Tell me what to shoot. Beautiful. Let's go home. All right, contract payment increased by 35%. Beautiful. Some half decent experience. Then it took a bunch of damage, but we couldn't do much against those thunderbolts until they were gone. And of course, you, oh, you want stinger parts? You're going to give us engine cores, medium lasers. Um, Now let's dispute it and see what happens. Um, insanity plea is accepted. They ran away with the proceedings. You lose salvage right to all the following stinger and the cores. Ah, really? And the rack? What? What? Oh, we got Magna lasers, though. I'm gonna put two of them there. I got a feeling this is gonna be like nothing else that we want down here. Oh, SLDF cockpit. Uh, oh, double heat sinks. I should just take the three double heat sinks. I think so. Those magnet lasers are nice, cause, but there are like only a couple of extra points damage, but these are far more valuable right now, so we're going to take those three. Alright, two chameleon parts, thing or part, and uh, SL, we'll get the SLDF cockpit. Okay, we got one of the things that we wanted. 
All right, so I guess not too bad. Well, 16,000 in repairs. Yeah, those Thunderbolt turrets. Not much we can do about that. So we do have a few days of, of repairs here. Not that bad, actually. Only for, like, what, four days? Not bad. Okay. So we're going to take those four days. Let's quickly have a look at the barracks. I want to see... Uh, we have to get our guys back first. Now, Dustraker doesn't have enough points yet. All right. So I know this was short, but I'm going to leave this episode here because we don't have another mission we can take that's quick. Um, I think next episode we're going to take this Two Skull Destroy base in the jungle, Clan Burrock against Comstar. And then after that, I'm going to try this one, which is a target acquisition mission. Uh, it might go real smooth. We do have fast mechs. It might go really smooth. Uh, or it could be a shit show. But I think it would be fun, so I think I want to try that one. But I want to do this turn the tables first, because I know we can probably do this one without too much of a problem. Logistical breakdown is an ambush convoy. I don't know yet. Maybe. Um, and this one is an assassinate, which we at two skulls most likely we can't do. But logistical breakdown, ambushing convoy, we might be we might be able to do this one. I don't know 100% yet. With our barrages, chances are we could probably pull it off, but we have no idea really until we try. But the next episode, we're going to try this turn of tables. All right, so I'm going to leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.